Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be doing a pick a card reading today about what they tell their friends and family about you. Would you like to know? Would you like to find out what they tell their friends and family? You know, maybe you told them some things. Maybe they're confiding their friends and family. Maybe they have thoughts and things that they want to share with you that they can't tell you that they told their friends instead or their family instead. You know, maybe they're sharing personal stuff about you guys or just... You know, things that they, as I said, they want to share with you, but they're not, you know, ready to come forward and tell you yet. So, yeah, take it as it resonates. Anything might pop up for you guys. It might be anything. It doesn't have to be about love. It could be about anything, okay? So, pick your pile. Right, the first pile, we have four piles today. I definitely followed spirit advice and said four piles, so I did four piles. The first pile is dreams and it is this primer you can choose from the primer if you like to use primer on your face okay maybe that's your thing I, I like to use different objects and stuff so we have dreams for power one or a primer power two we have AI cream or happiness power three we have this blush duo hair or peace power four we have this lunar lipstick and passion right so for piles to choose from you can be drawn to more than one pile it's all up to you whichever one you're drawn to choose your pile and all your timestamps will be available in the description section all right guys let's jump into it i'm super excited about this one because i don't really like negative stuff but i do hope nothing negative does come up and if it does come up i'll definitely be clarifying and confirming what you need to do and how you can get over any of these things these people are saying about you to their friends and their family okay what's good what's good pile one so you chose the primer okay so i'm gonna put your primer right there guys we're gonna start off with your oracle cards and we have some message cards as well but i'm gonna jump right into it to find out what this person's been telling their friends and their family about you okay the first card that he was drawn to was dreams. <clears throat> Anytime I start doing my readings, I notice my voice goes funny, so please bear with my voice, guys. <laughs> okay? And it's just natural for our readers to do this. Sometimes we get the sniffles, we get the coughs, we get blocked throat chakras because sometimes the people that we're trying to talk about or we're trying to get the message across to or from you know you know maybe they don't want to express themselves sometimes and or we're just channeling sometimes this happens okay so dreams your first card we have the second card says empowerment and we have courage Right, so three cards for you guys. I'm sorry if you can hear the kids in the back. Let me just try and calm them down for a second and I'll be right back. Yeah, the kiddies are home. As you guys know, we're all home, quarantining, whatever, you know, chilling, homeschooling. <laughs> so they're always running up and down the house, making noise, having fun, playing about because it's a holiday every day, you know. But yeah, we have courage next for you guys. So we have three cards for you. Um, with your oracle cards here empowerment courage and dream so what this person i feel so far is telling your friends and your family part one all right they're dreaming they could be dreaming about you dreaming about coming forward if not this person's probably planning um things telling their parents their family i feel like they're telling everybody what their dreams are and what your dreams are if you're talking to this person they're telling people about your dreams what you're planning for your future you know things like that i'm getting so far with the empowerment as well and the courage i feel like you are definitely empowering this person at the same time showing them courage and i feel like they're talking about you this way to their family and their friends that like you're so courageous you're so empowerment you're so strong Okay, they're telling the people about your dreams, your aspirations, your goals, your ambitions. Not only that, what you're dreaming to do, when you know what your plans are for them and with them. Okay, for instance, if you want to have kids, family life, if you want to travel, if you want what career goals you have, you know, things like that I'm picking up on when it comes to dreams, not just about you know what you're dreaming about in you for your life, but what you want for them and with them. All right, so I feel like this person definitely feel like you are very, very empowering, very, very courageous. All right, so they're telling you their friends and their family that are about you. You're very, very 
strong you're a strong strong person some of you guys could be fire sign or a leo coming up i've seen very very a lot of fire sign feelings coming up i'm just getting that feeling so far but if you're not you are definitely showing this person these signs and they really like it about you and i feel like this is something that's what's attracted them to you as well i feel like <laughs> they're telling the family and friends like yeah I, I feel like she's or he she is not like anybody else i've ever met i am feeling like this person is saying that they just can't stop thinking about you or dreaming about you because you have so much drive and passion in you and if they feel like you are passing on this to them i feel like you're empowering this person as well pal one you are teaching them stuff by just you know sharing your your life and your passion and your dreams towards them whatever you're talking to them about pal one or sharing with them i feel like you're also empowering them and they're loving it and they're sharing that little secrets and little things about you with their family and their friends so work through your fears new moon in scorpio again some of you guys could be scorpio it doesn't have to be you're your person and i feel like they are telling their friends and their families that you are working through your fears or you have worked through your fears and this is why you are so empowering you're so courageous you're so strong you work through a lot you've been through a lot and you work through your fears all right they're telling their people that they love this about you that you are you just push through anything, all right? And if you are still working through your affairs, they do like that about you. They're still telling their friends and their family that you are working through some things or vice versa, I'll take it as it resonates, okay? It doesn't have to be you working through your affairs, watching this reading. It could be your person, all right? So, you know, somebody has working through their affairs and they really, really find this empowering and courageous that you have the energy and the strength and the resilience to do this. So they're really, really sharing this with people around them. And don't let your past hold you back in the south node. So again, they could be telling their friends, their friends, I don't know why I said friends. <laughs> Maybe they're telling their friends and their family that you are definitely somebody that work through their fears. Again, you don't let the past hold you back. So whatever you've been through in the past, you are not letting that hold you back. You have so much dreams and ambitions and aspirations <clears throat> and courage you know, to go forward and get whatever you want in life. And I feel like they're telling their friends and their families that you are not somebody that let the past hold you back. You just keep going, you keep moving, you keep pushing. And this is what I feel like. You're definitely a passionate person. You have drive, okay? And this person really likes that about you and they really can't stop talking about you to people and letting them know that they find a really good person in you. <laughs> you know, they feel like whatever happened to you in the past just makes you stronger okay definitely feel like definitely very empowering power one with the next card i see a fiery climax approaches full moon in aries so they're going to be telling their people and their friends as i said friends and families that as i said somebody here could definitely be a fire sign aries leo is coming up but also as i said see scorpio um a fiery climax approaches and the time for healing, balsamic moon. So definitely a person is healing in this pile. A person has been through a lot. They don't let in the past hold them back though. It doesn't matter what they've been through. They're healing, they're growing, they're getting the strength and their courage, right? And this person sees it and telling everybody that about you, right? They know that you're healing. They're telling their friends, families like, I know they're healing. I'm going to give them time to heal. I'm going to wait. I know this person has good intentions, good hearts. You know, they're very, very ambitious. As I said, very, very empowering and strong. And this approach, this fiery climax that's coming for you guys is something good, right? This person's definitely going to come forward. I feel like they're going to tell you what they truly like about you, what they're truly feeling, what, you know... They're probably going to tell you that, you know, I've been talking about you to my friends and family, but this is how I truly feel. And I feel like this is because this person has been waiting for you to heal. They've been biding the time. You or them could be biding the time, waiting for you to heal, waiting for you to get through whatever you're going through right now. Okay, pal one. And they, they know that you're going to be so empowered right they know that you're working through your fears so whatever you're healing or heal from you know they know that you're going to be empowering and strong and i feel like if you guys haven't done this already you're already 
if you have done this already you're going through this you're not going to let the past hold you back and as i said this person really likes that about you so i feel like with this fiery climax that's coming you know whatever you're dreaming of to happen with this person or just dreaming in regular to happen in your life something good is happening and coming forward for you guys per one okay you definitely have a lot of passion and drive to get these things in your life you're very courageous you're very strong okay and you are healing okay but once you finish healing you're going to be so empowering and so <laughs> like i don't know you are just an empowering person and i feel like nothing can stop you no matter how hard people try or things come your way you just keep it moving part one okay so this person is really telling their friends and family that they really like how strong you are and yeah super super courageous so we're gonna jump into some romance cards the first one i see come up for you guys is codependency i don't know if any of you guys was in a codependent relationship in the past or just around codependent people or just working through codependent stuff within yourself okay they could be telling people that you're healing from this or people who's always depending on you and now you're learning to depend on yourself you're learning to love yourself i feel like a lot of you guys are moving away from codependent people as well and you know just putting more time and energy into yourself you're getting more courage to you know focus on yourself and, and know what you truly want separation some of you guys again could be separated it doesn't have to be it doesn't it could just mean that you're living in separate countries or just not in contact with this person right now they're waiting for you to heal they're waiting for you to go through this time of healing and transformation and recovery i feel like you guys need to recharge and i feel like once you do that this person will try to come forward but if you guys have any codependent issues with this person or in the past you just know that right now you're healing from this and i feel like you guys know your worth you know that you don't it's not healthy to be in anything codependent okay right so i get i can't express my emotions i'm definitely feeling this <laughs> With the separation as well, as I said, somebody here could not be saying exactly what they are feeling or thinking. They could be telling their friends and families that they can't express themselves to you or express their true emotions right now because of certain things. So, yeah, this is one of the reasons why they're not talking. Oh, my gosh, there's separation. Now there's travel overseas. Progress ahead. Traveling overseas could mean that this person will travel to be with you or want to travel to be with you. It doesn't have to be, but there's progress ahead. Somebody's willing to push forward to be with you to make things work. And I feel like traveling overseas also means that, as I said, you guys could be separated or living in different countries, right? And they're willing to do that once you guys set a foundation and know what you truly want together. If you want to grow together and, you know, all the dreams and aspirations you guys have planned or want to plan together, you know, you want to see if it's going to work out. So you definitely travel to be with this person to love them. But right now you're dealing with in, you're dealing with inner childhood traumas or your person is dealing with these traumas right now. As I said, they're healing. They're not letting anything hold them back no matter what they've been through. If it's childhood traumas, they're healing from it, okay? I feel your energy. So you and your person is feeling each other strongly, like the energy is on a hundred okay you and your person definitely um connecting in some sort of way okay the wavelength you guys are on the same wavelength could be soulmate twin flames that kind of um connection it doesn't have to be but i feel like you guys are definitely connected it says here bear with me i grew up an only child it doesn't have to be for everybody okay guys but it says i have abandonment issues and i'm dealing with I have abandonment issues I am dealing with right now. So this could be, again, one of the childhood traumas that they were dealing with. It's surprising that both of these come up together. You know, they're dealing with abandonment issues, any childhood trauma issues. And I feel like this person probably feels like they, if they open up to you, you might make them, you know, leave them or you might break their heart in some sort of way. I feel like this what kind of makes you or your person codependent and you're trying to heal from this. Anything that kind of, you know... Hmm. anything that hurt you in the past or any traumas you had in the past you're healing from this and you're telling your friends and families like you need to heal from this kind of codependent stuff you need to somebody wanted you to wait for them to heal as i said you had to wait for somebody here to heal because they had to deal with these stuff these issues these traumas okay they had to heal from it but they still feel you and they still want to be with you okay 
they still believe they still believe in everything that you guys um share with each other and they just wanna want you to wait a little bit more because yeah self love is the best love they've been loving themselves they've been trying to love themselves they've been loving up on themselves taking care of themselves in any way they can right now to heal okay i feel like self-love is definitely the best love for both of you guys right now and it's going to help bring both you guys closer together when the time is definitely right and lastly here we have pay attention to the red flag so some of you guys could have been seeing these red flags and thinking why is this person opening up to me sharing their emotions why are they not talking to me but definitely believe that they're talking to their friends and their families okay don't think that this person just hiding wearing a mask and not telling you anything about what they're feeling they have so much stuff going on with them since they were kids or child children growing up i should say sometimes you know being an older child could be a problem or just having different things abandonment issues different child inner childhood traumas growing up that they're not willing to share with you right now maybe they're only willing to share that with their close friends and families but once they do heal they'll definitely come forward and let you know what they really really feel inside all right but this person definitely feel like there's some progress ahead you know and they can't they can't show the emotions but i feel like in due time they will be sharing their true emotions and what they truly feel for you but in the meantime they're really telling their friends that as I said, they're not going to let the past hold you back or you're not like somebody that let the past hold him back. They're working through their fears, okay? And something good is coming out of all of this, okay? Something good is coming out of all of this part one. So just remember, as I said, you are very empowering, you're courageous and you are strong. You have so much dreams and aspirations, both of you guys, and I feel like once you are healed once you get to express yourself and get to meet this person in like move forward and get to meet this person in the flesh if you haven't met them in the flesh yet because some of you guys could meet online or talking online as i said separated in different countries but if you get to meet and talk and express yourself i feel like it will definitely be a great great start to something but let's jump into your initials before i go I almost hurt myself there. <laughs> Pile <of> one. <clears throat> so I have Q first for you guys. Next we have a U. Q U. <laughs> we have an M or a W. And a K. So ooh, that could have spelled quick, isn't it? But we didn't get any more than four initials today. Wow, power one. Um, that's what I have for you. I hope this reading resonates with you. And if it did, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Take care, guys. Bye. Power two, we have your eye cream. Oops, <laughs> there's eye cream in there. Okay, guys, it's not empty. So I'm going to put your eye cream right here, actually. And your first card that you was drawn to could have been happiness. Was it happiness or the high cream? Could be both. <laughs> All right. So we have happiness, <clears throat> forgiveness, and truth. Wow. So three big messages coming up so far. You want happiness, truth, forgiveness. So you could be you know dealing with somebody that's telling their friends and families that you make them happy okay you bring happiness to them and you are somebody that's very forgiving and very truthful you know very honest you know very very straightforward messages i'm getting so far it could be both ways though it could be that you're looking for truth in everything all right it doesn't have to be that you're true like not only that you speak the truth you want the truth i feel like you're looking for truth seeking the truth you want the truth from this person. I feel like this person as well, for some of you guys, could be telling the friends and family that you want the truth from them if they're not expressing themselves and letting you know what's going on. You're looking for the truth, searching for the truth. Okay, again, another message I'm getting with the forgiveness. If they're not just telling their friends and family that you're a forgiving person, is that they all could be saying that you want forgiveness. You want, you're asking them for forgiveness or vice versa. Okay, maybe you want forgiveness, they want forgiveness about something or somebody's walking away but they're also very forgiving eh? okay so 
I see happiness again you can be making somebody happy they can make you happy and yeah it could just be like a happy time for you right now pal too okay so that's what I'm getting so far let's get some more messages for you guys hold your vision fixed moon emotions all running high Your commitment is being tested. <laughs> yes, and your hard work is paying off. We have new moon in Capricorn. So we have your hard work is paying off. Right, I feel like some of you guys, your, your person could be telling their friends and family that you are very committed. But right now, you like I feel like some of you guys could be getting tested right now with something. It could be anything, okay? It could be romantically, it could be just family wise, it could be anything. But your commitment is being tested right now, and I feel like they're telling their friends and families that you you're all over the place. Maybe emotions all over the place right now. You're very up and down. Maybe not bipolar or anything like that, but yeah, <laughs> your emotions are all over the place with this super moon. You could be expecting something, wanting to hear something, but you are definitely being tested but just keep your vision right now i feel like you're holding your vision you're waiting for something you know that something's gonna come you're very fixed on this you want this to happen you're focused as i said on this and you need to know that your hard work is paying off so whatever you guys are feeling emotional about right now very anxious about or wanting to hear news from or get some clarification on I feel like you're definitely reaching your goals soon and your person could be telling their friends and families that you're working hard right now and you're very, very focused right now. Even though you could have, you know, mixed emotions, you're very, very focused. You're holding your vision for what you want. You're seeking the truth for what you want. Okay, you're trying to find your happiness in something, in some sort of way as well, pal, too. But I feel like your emotions are all over the place because you are being tested you're being tested and even though you're being tested you're still holding your vision you're still trying to stand your ground and and find that happiness and balance that you want in your life you know that you're a forgiving person you have a good heart okay so whatever you're know, telling your friends and family is that you are still a good person you're still a happy person no matter what you're going through right now and they really like that you're very very hard working and you hold your vision no matter what okay so this is what i'm getting so far about what they're telling their friends and families and they know that you're going to get everything that you're working for is going to pay off you're very very hard working and i feel like sometimes your work or your workload gets too much so i feel like they're trying to just stay focused and you're trying to stay focused and trying to find balance and trying to find happiness in everything that you guys are doing even though you're feeling a bit tested okay pal two let's get some romance cards for you guys Calling in your soulmate. Some of you guys could be waiting to hear from your soulmate, calling in your soulmate, trying to manifest your soulmate, or waiting for some sort of communication from your soulmate. Maybe there's no contact and, you know, no communication. It could be something like that. But I feel like some of you guys could be calling in your soulmate right now, you know, wanting that person that's going to be there for you. Somebody, there's, mm, there's some emotional, yeah, I feel like this could definitely be a love situation because you are looking for the one you want to be with the one you're calling in the one that person that one person that you need to be with you want to be with okay so the person that you're thinking about that's talking to the friends and family this could be the one okay you're calling your soulmate that could be telling the friends and family that you they feel like you're their soulmate you could be the one that get married to start a family with you know all of that jazz um Oh, they could be telling their friends and family that they want to get married to you. You know, what, honey, if some of you guys are engaged, all right, I don't want to spill the beans. Some of you guys could be engaged or getting engaged and going on a honeymoon and all of that. This person could be planning a honeymoon. You could be waiting to hear news if you're going to go home, if you can get to go on a honeymoon or have a big wedding or a wedding or something like that. I feel like I'm picking up on different things, part two. But, um, yeah, I feel like some of you guys could be getting engaged, starting off something, a good start. This person could be planning something behind your back. I hope I didn't spill the beans. But, yeah. Yeah, if something good is coming for you guys, this person has plans for you. So, but they're waiting. They're holding the vision right now. They're, they're planning and telling their friends and family these things. So, first off, I see I don't want to have kids or get married. And we were just talking about honeymoon. <laughs> 
All right, let's get some more messages and see. Take a break from worrying. So some of you guys with the emotions running high. Definitely. I feel like they could be getting advice or they could be giving you advice or you could just be thinking you need to take a break from worrying. Stop worrying about things you shouldn't worry about. You know, try and be happy no matter what. You know, you know that your hard work is paying off. So you try not to worry about anything. You're trying to stay focused. Okay. But we have, I don't want to have kids or get married. I feel like somebody here, it could be your them that wasn't ready for this. You weren't ready to you know, have kids or start a family, or maybe they just didn't know if you wanted any of these things because you haven't expressed yourself or talked to this person before. And if you haven't met this person before, maybe they're thinking, you know, they didn't want to have kids or they don't know if they're going to have kids or a, get married because, you know, they didn't have those kind of hopes for themselves. They were just being anxious about their future. They didn't know what their future hold. But I feel like somebody's still holding the vision and trying to find happiness no matter what. Oh my gosh, look at this. Somebody here says, I want a family with you. So I feel like there's two mixed emotions or mixed signals going on. Somebody wanted kids and, and get married and somebody didn't. All right, we have two different messages coming here. So if you were dealing with somebody, pal, too, that, you know, didn't want to have kids and now they want, they're going to come forward and let you know. Or one of you guys could have wanted kids and, and one maybe didn't, or one wanted to get married and one didn't. Um, so please take it as it resonates. But well, I feel like somebody's getting a change of mind right now. Okay, this is why this could be one of the reasons why you're worried. Your emotions was all over the place. But you know, I feel like somebody probably getting a change of mind. Next, I have loves to party and have fun. I feel like somebody in the past probably didn't want to also have kids or get married because they like to have fun. They were having lots of fun, partying, and just living their life. Okay, they were just being happy. But I feel like now this person is probably ready to settle down and have kids, you know, get get that the life going, get get things going. <laughs> they don't waste time. Um, door to romance is next. So we'll pile two. As I said, this person could become back getting ready to, you know, tell you how they truly feel now that they're ready to start a family with you and get married and you know have all of that. I feel like this person has been probably holding the vision for a long time, have been staying focused for a long time, even though they were out, out, out having fun back in the day. Now they get in a different mindset. I feel like this person definitely wants romance and family life and love in their life. All right. And lastly, I see I want to come forward. Told you guys. Told you guys. This person wants to come forward. I want to let you know how they feel new romance guys this is why this could be one of the reasons why emotions is all over the place but yeah i feel like i'm this person was working hard on their career or just having happiness party and having fun you know living their life and now they're you know they were worried that they're gonna lose you but i feel like they're gonna tell you soon if they haven't told you yet they want to get this thing going they want to come and you know, they do have romantic feelings for you and they want to start something with you. They want to come forward because back in the day they were scared. They weren't sure if they wanted to get married or have kids. But I feel like now this person feel that you could be the one and they're telling their friends and families that, you know, they could be even, they're going to express that to you too once they get a chance and feel strong enough to come forward and say that. But they really feel like you're their soulmate and they've been calling in their soulmate. They want somebody that they can get married to or you want somebody that I can spend the rest of your life with. So I feel like, as I said, you guys have been looking for this truth, trying to find out this truth for a while now, trying to know what this person really feels. You know, your commitment was being tested, you and this person's commitment or relationship was being tested. And just know that your resilience and courage and strength and love for each other has paid off. Even if they're talking to their family and friends, you know, they, they were anxious. They wanted to know. You wanted to know. All right, you wanted to know, but I feel like some of you guys need to forgive this person, forgive anything that happened in the past, and just know that true happiness is coming for you anyways. You're searching for truth, you're searching for, searching for happiness, you're searching for success, you're searching for love, kids, everything, you want that in your life. So you're willing to forgive, you're willing to move on, and you're willing to heal, okay? I feel like you guys are definitely healing and working on yourself and that's definitely paying off so let me get some initials for you guys your hard work is definitely paying off and this person is definitely going to come forward how to 
Let's see what we can get for you guys. So the first initials for pile two is R. A Z or an N. Ooh, we have two. Could be two weeks, two days, two months. You hear from this person? And tell you, tell me how to feel, what their plans are. Okay. Okay. S. And the numbers could also mean just something. It could be pile two. So two could be a very, very unique number for you. Like maybe your favorite number or something. We have Q and a K and an X. So this could also be an X coming back. Okay, guys, you could be wanting to find out if your ex still has feelings for you or talking about each of the friends and family, what their plans are. But yeah, this is also a little inkling that could be an X, but not for everybody, right? So take it as it resonates, pal, too. I hope this really resonated with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I have very very high hopes for you just calm your emotions and just chill out for a bit keep holding your vision to just keep creating happiness and abundance and love around you somebody has the iron i'm talking about you but it's in good way in a good 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 way so don't worry about anything okay pal too i'd love to see you guys here again so don't forget to like comment share and subscribe guys take care bye for now see you soon pile three we have your Blush duo hair, beautiful blush palette. Um, I'm gonna jump into your cards. So the card that you could have been drawn to was peace. Let's look at that card from afar if you can see that. She's offering peace. So your your people, your yeah, your people, your person could be telling their friends and their family about how peaceful you are. Okay, that could be number one. We have blessings. Mm. And freedom. Okay. What I'm picking up on so far, pal three. <clears throat> For each part of my throat is going funny today, I don't know why, okay? um, You're very peaceful, very, very peaceful. You offer peace to this person. You've been peaced in this person's life, okay? I'm just going to spill it as it comes, okay? Because I naturally speak fast when I'm chatting, so please bear with me as I could, okay? Um, you're very peaceful. As I said, calm and loving. You have this aura around you that, you know, this person's telling their friend and family that they're so attracted about. They can't get enough of your peace. Your energy is very attracting, okay? They're also telling their friends and family that you're like a blessing in their life. They've been praying for you and someone like you for a while, and I feel like you're finally in their life, and they're very happy about that. Take it as it resonates. could be vice versa. It could be a cross watch, okay? So you're a blessing. Both you guys feel like probably you're blessing each other's life. But I feel like this person trying to, was trying to manifest a good person like this, a peaceful person, a person that has no drama. You know, they're telling their friends and family, like, this person has no drama. It's like a blessing. It's somebody I've actually really, really wanted. Like, this person has a good soul, right? This person is telling their friends and family that you bring so much freedom. You Like, this person probably could have locked their heart away or just wasn't able to express himself or just be free to do anything in life. And I feel like you... And bring so much freedom to them in many more ways than one that like, I can't even explain, but you should know pile three, okay? You have brought freedom or vice versa in this person's life. This person could have been feeling like they're isolated, they could have been feeling alone, they could have been feeling in, you know, locked off from different people. But you come and open up their heart, you come and open up something in them, and now they're feeling a bit free. To either love or to express themselves or to go out and live their life, okay? So they're telling good things, talking good things about you to their friends and their family. All right, so it's time to take action. I feel like somebody here wants to come and take action. Pound three, you could be Leo. I mean, when uh, Leo came out, so one of you guys could be Leo. Take care, isn't it? I don't know why I said Leo, but I mean Aries. Um, But could be also fire signs. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So... You guys, this person willing to come forward, take action. They want to tell them they're telling their friends and families they want to. It's time. I feel it. Okay, they feel it deep within them. It's time to take action. 
all right so they wanted to come forward and i feel like you're drawing them you're pulling them in with that beautiful aura of yours so it says here next it's time to release negativity full moon in scorpio so we have new moon in aries full moon in scorpio very very passionate people so your person could be aries or you or scorpio okay and we have time to release negativity they could be teaching you, you could be teaching them to release negativity with your peaceful aura, you know, the way you are, how you do things in your life. You could be helping them to release negativity and then telling their friends and family that you're so peaceful, that you're making them have a different mindset towards life and how you see things, right? Or just that the fact that you're around them is just helping them to release a negative mindset. You know, all of that, I feel like I'm picking up on you, help them to release negativity from their life in some sort of way. Okay, part three, and the end of a tough, tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. Some of you guys could be Capricorn or your person. And full moon in Libra, you bring balance. They're telling the people, the friends, the families that you bring balance. You know, they see a win-win outcast, a forecast. Oh, I keep saying outcast. They see a win-win forecast. They see something good with you. They see, they see balance. You know, what you give, they get with you. And I feel like this person definitely been praying for somebody like you. You know, if they give you love, you're going to give back love. And if you don't give them drama, they're not going to give drama, you know. And I feel like this is what this person wanted. So whatever end tough, end, whatever cycles you guys have been going through, just know that something's ending, right? Something's approaching. Something's coming that you no longer need to be in. All right, you're moving away from tough things, you're moving away from negativity, you're releasing negativity. So whatever cycles you're going through that was holding you back or your person to take action, I feel like now is the time they're coming forward and they feel like it's time because they feel like you bring balance. They tell their friends and family they feel like this is a win-win outcome. Okay, so let's get some more messages. Oh, I care so much about you. Okay, power three. This is what your person is feeling for you. They care about you so much. They telling their friends and families that they um they really feel your your peace and your your blessing to them, and they care so much about you because you're bringing so much positivity in their life. Okay, you're making them happy, making them smile again, and any form of abuse is not accepted. All right, I'm picking up on this with the freedom card. I feel like this person, if you or them was any in any sort of abuse in you know within your relationships for instance or family life or as a child i feel like you're helping them to release these sort of toxic traits and negative things that happen to them you know you were telling them like any form of excuse any form of abuse or excuse that you get from these abusive people is not accepted you're letting them know that they don't need abuse is not love you don't need it so you're helping them to release this form of things from their life okay you're letting them know that abuse is not it they're telling their friends also that you are somebody that helped them not to lower their standards okay you're helping them to be free free from abuse free from you know self-doubt and you know self-worth you're helping them realize that they shouldn't lower their standards you know maybe in the past some of you guys were the people that was abusive to you locked you away make you feel like you have no friends or you shouldn't have no friends and family or for instance they used to hit on you i don't promote anything like that but there could be abusive words or physical abuse emotional abuse and you know this person now telling you you don't need any of that you don't need to lower your standards for love you don't need to accept any abuse as a form of love because that's not love and i feel this person brings so much peace and blessings into your life and they're making you know what true love is and they're caring for you in a different way you guys never have seen so they're sharing all of this with their friends and family okay yeah, some of you guys, I feel like you guys, your heart's been broken in the past. Could not, I don't feel it's definitely by this person. I feel like it was in the past. Definitely in past people hurt you. Your heart was broken and you didn't feel free enough to open your heart. But this person definitely feeling like you or them is opening their heart, healing, helping to heal their heart and negative things that happened to them. Okay. I'm definitely feeling like they're helping you. So you guys could be struggling with emotions in the past the person your person could have been struggling with emotions again you've been through so much in the past and this person brings so much peace 
and blessings into your life. So if you were struggling with emotions and things that happened to you that made your heart broken, you guys were definitely moving away from all those negative things. Remember, at the end of a tough cycle is approaching for you. Okay, power three. Okay, next we have compromise. Someone's here to compromise with you. As I said, what you give, you're going to get back with this person. This person's definitely here to put much love into you as you put into them and vice versa all right i feel like this person definitely a compromising soul peaceful soul person that's going to bless you with many things and happiness in your life let go of control issues is next some of you guys could be or had control issues in the past or being around controlling people as i said you're being free right now you're healthy this person or you are being free you're helping each other to be free, to go and live your life, to be happy, to let go of negativity, to let go of control issues. You guys are helping each other in many more ways than one. All right, I feel that coming through for you guys. All right, so some of you guys need to learn to let go of negativity. And they're telling their friends and families that you're not a negative person, you're not a controlling person. You're a very compromising person, a very understanding person. All right, some of you guys could be reconciling with somebody or somebody wants to come back and reconcile. I feel like some of you guys... If this person didn't open up to you in the past, they definitely want to come back and let you know how they feel. They want to reconcile. They want to open up now. They want to tell you what they want and how they truly feel. They feel like you're really a big blessing in their life. Okay, they feel like they prayed for somebody like you. And this could also be a past life relationship. Could be a childhood relationship or just something that could be a past life and you guys are here in this lifetime to reconcile and work things through or just to make each other happy because you guys could be also soulmates. So I feel like there's a lot of emotions, definitely a lot of attraction here and definitely a lot of healing as well. So you guys are definitely blessing each other, you're telling each other, their friends and their family that they see something good with you. Okay, and they really, really want to come and take action right now. <laughs> they really want to take action. They really want to reconcile. They really want to come back and express their emotions because, as I said in the past, they were struggling. They were struggling to do that. So, <clears throat> let's see what initials I can get for you guys. Because I feel like this person has good intentions, and you also have a good intention, a good heart. All right, let's see what initials you can get for part three. Oh, no, we only got three today. That's crazy. <laughs> so we have two. So two could mean something to you guys. Could be two days, two weeks, two months. Wow, we have an ex. So an ex probably want to come back, guys. Big, big, big message here. Definitely could be an ex. Doesn't have to be for everybody, but yeah. And lastly, I got an H. So this could be an H or an I. Okay, somebody might want to come back and say hi, um, but it could be a turn high, so take it as it resonates. We only got three for you guys, power three. I found that very, very random and weird at the same time, but I hope you guys enjoy this reading. I hope it resonates with you because I feel like you guys just have so much good things coming, no matter what, no matter where you look at this, this person, you and them are healing each other, but I also feel like they care so much about you, and they're trying to help you in many more ways than one and you're helping them too so if this reading resonated with you guys please let me know in the comment section and share my videos subscribe all of that and i hope you guys continue to release negativity never lower your standards okay and don't accept abuse go live your life be free and keep spreading peace your person loves this about you and they can't stop talking about you to their friends and their family so let me know what you think all right guys take care bye Hey, Power 3, it got so bright right now, you can't even see the lights. <laughs> yeah, so we got a little sunshine going on in London, which is good. So I've got my light in and the Christmas lights and it's still like, yeah, the sunlight is doing its bit. So thankful for the sun today. We have Luna, so that ain't that something, the, the sun and the moon, right? Oh my gosh, this, the sun is going to be given a glare, but we have your lipstick, Power 3, I mean Power 4. I'm so used to doing 3 powers, so that's why I keep saying, I might say Power 3 a lot, so bear with me, Power 4, okay? Um, yeah, so we have your lipstick. And let's see what, and let's find out and see what this person's been saying to their friends and families about you. You know, what messages we have, what can come up. 
you know, all the other pairs have been good so far. So let's see, pal, four, we have passion. This is what you could have been drawn to at the beginning. So, yeah, we have passion. We have home. Hopefully you guys can see these cards in the sunlight. It actually looks beautiful in the sun too. Um, we have home and passion. And lastly, we have confidence. Beautiful. So your person is telling their friends and families about how confident you are. <clears throat> how confident maybe you make them feel in, within themselves. You are bringing out their confidence. You have also been shining and... You know, your inner confidence is shining through. They find you so, so confident and appealing and attractive and beautiful. Everything, I'm getting all that vibes coming off with the confidence card. And how this lady is just looking right now in this card. She just gives up this beautiful energy. So I feel like they're telling their friends and families how beautiful you are. Confident energy. Your energy is everything. You are just all about love. And yeah, I feel like you have confidence in yourself and bringing out confidence in this person as well with the home here as well i feel like you have been making this person think about the future their home like for instance how they want to start a family and home life and you know things like that. i feel like building a home together you know stuff like that um even working together um just building something from the farm, making a, having a foundation, something stable with you. I feel like they're telling the friends and families that they want stability, setting a foundation, building something. Um, you know, having this life with you, they feel like they see um so much growth with you in abundance. So this is good to see the home. They feel at home with you as well. I feel like you make them feel safe as well, okay? So I feel like they're telling nothing but good things about you to their friends and family is powerful, especially the passion here. You are very passionate, confident. You are very home, you know, like a homebody, maybe like being at home as well. And, you know, doing things like cooking and, you know, you just, I don't know, you have this warm energy about you anyway. So I feel like some of you guys could be a fire sign. It doesn't have to be, but you have so much passion around you and within you. And this person just tells their friends and families, just how beautiful you are in every way, okay? And they also have, I feel like, a lot of sensual passion, okay? If you know what that means, I do have lots of those readings if you want to check those out, okay, Power 4. But there's a lot of sensual solar plexus energy and stuff going on. I see lots of red oranges, so solar plexus. And I feel like even, you know, <laughs> um, not just solar plexus, but I feel like there's so much different chakras balancing here for you guys like so much beautiful energy i feel like this person is balancing you out making you confident making you passionate as well but i feel like both of you guys are doing this for each other so i feel like they're telling your friends good things about you powerful okay we have believe in the impossible blue moon um you are very close to achieving your goal give you a smooth Okay, so believe in possible and you're very close to achieving your goals. So, so I feel like this person is telling their friends and families that you are somebody that's confident in the future. You believe in the impossible, you believe in anything. But I also believe that this person feels like with you, anything is possible. They believe that they can have everything they ever dreamed of and wished for in life. And I feel like they're believing in that. They're really wishing that with you and they believe that you can bring such balance in your life and stability that they really want okay so they believe in the impossible they believe that something can happen with you all right and i also believe that you also believe in the impossible you're very very um what's the word you you're very optimistic yeah and i feel like you're very very confident in your future and your own goals and your dreams and your aspirations and i feel like they're telling your your their friends and your family that you are very close to achieving your goals in life you are very very ambitious you're very confident you're very passionate about things and i feel like you're also making them help helping them to close to achieve their goals too okay you are very very helpful in many more ways than one to this person so i feel like they're just really really um raving about you to their friends and families how much you're helping them okay next we have step out of your comfort zone north node 
So if somebody wants to step out of their comfort zone or feel like they're telling, you know, the friends and family that you stepped out, you're very confident right now, you're very passionate, you're stepping out of your comfort zone, maybe some of you guys was in your comfort zone before, scared to go up and achieve certain things, certain, you know, aspects of your life you was closed off from, and I feel like now you guys are very, very driven, passionate about a lot of things, very confident about a lot of things, if it's not you, it's your person right now, they feel like they need to step out, if not, you guys already stepped out of your comfort zone, now you're confident, you know, you're ready to go and get these things, you're passionate about things again, you believe in impossible, you know, you believe that you can achieve anything, and I feel like you're, you're definitely a driven, passionate person, and you're ready to achieve your goals and dreams in life, so I feel like they're definitely telling, you know, their friends and families, or you are telling your friends and families that this person is stepping out, and you are feeling like you need to step out of your comfort zone when it comes to love, not just for what you want in your life and your dreams and aspirations, but for your love life as well. So I feel like some of you guys, this person might take a leap of faith to come forward to you. And next, I see a personal issue reaches resolution for many cancer. So there could be cancer, cancer in the chart, very emotional, but very, very um loving people so yeah they're very they're willing to show their emotions step out of the comfort zone they want to get some resolutions reach some they need to sort out some things and i feel like once they do that they're willing to come out of their comfort zone okay whatever personal issue they had that was bothering them or they were going through i feel like now they feel confident to come out now they feel like the you know what passion they have and drive they have with inside of them it definitely time for it to come out they feel like they're strong enough now they're confident enough now to do this so it's either you or them but i feel like any personal issues that you guys have it is definitely reaching some resolution right now and this person feel like now it's time to achieve their goals and step out of their comfort zone so i feel like you guys have some um good things some good talks going on about you you know nobody said anything negative i see so far so we have worth waiting for for you guys this love is worth waiting for, this person thinks you're worth waiting for as well, and I feel like they're telling their friends and family that you're worth waiting for, okay, which is good, um, we have passion again, wow, I didn't even notice that when I was shuffling, a lot of times I don't notice what's going on until I do my reading, so we have passion twice for you guys, this person definitely feels passion for you, you probably feel the same, you guys could be marine each other with that aspect, but I feel like you're passionate about many different things and they're talking about this. One of the things that they like talking about is your passion and your drive to their friends and family and how strong you are and confident. So with that, they definitely see, you know, they're definitely willing to come and take the leap of faith because they see that you're worth waiting for. Whatever you was going through, whatever goals you was trying to achieve, whatever personal issues you had to heal from, they did believe that it was worth waiting for. They did believe in you, okay? And they were telling their friends and families that we have deception. So some of you guys could have been dealing with somebody that was deceptive in many ways. Deception could mean different things, all right? It doesn't have to be lying and cheating and backstabbing. <laughs> it could also mean that the person is telling their true feelings. And even just by wearing a mask, a person can be a bit deceptive. And so not expressing themselves you know so you have to take into consideration this person could have been dealing with some things that they didn't want to share at a the time they were healing certain things certain personal things or maybe goals they're trying to achieve or they just didn't feel good enough but you know now this person definitely feels like it's either you or them was feeling these things but i feel like definitely they want to come and take a leap yeah very soon very soon they're going to do something they're going to <clears throat> wow, they're going to try and come forward and tell you how they're feeling. If not, they're going to try and make things happen, you know, whichever way it may be working out for you guys. Maybe some of you guys don't know this person yet, so, you know, they could be um, meeting in person. For instance, when I say don't, you don't know them yet, you could meet them online, talking to them online, or somebody that your friends know, you and your friends know, some kind of acquaintance, you know, things like that. It could be a crush. Um, but I feel like definitely something's going to happen to you guys very soon. We have unfaithful. So somebody here could personally be dealing with some personal issues which could have deception and unfaithful people in your life in the past. And you're just like, I'm not going to do this anymore. I hope this person, anybody that's coming towards me, 
or not deceptive and unfaithful because I don't want to deal with that anymore. Okay, this could be one of the reasons why some of you guys could have been in your comfort zone and are scared to step out. Okay, because of unfaithful people, right? Stop self harm and substance abuse. So some of you guys, maybe your friends and your family helped you to come out of these things, you know, move away from these type of kind of situations. And I feel like he, your person is telling your friends and families that you are a strong person. You never let anything happen or harm you. You never let nothing stop you. And even if he was harming yourself, any sort of substance, you've gotten over that. Okay, you've moved away from unfaithful people because you want passion in your life. Okay, you want good things happening in your life. Okay, so do what you love. Definitely find things that you love to do. Powerful, you're your person. It's finding things you love to do. So take it as resonate. Who's watching? Um, they're telling their friends that you're finding things that you love to do now. Okay, you're moving away from things like substance abuse self-harming in any sort of way it could be different things or people just abusing you or them okay and now they're learning to do what they love to do they're learning to find things that make them happy and passionate about okay so we have i've learned from my past mistakes wow definitely i feel definitely that is definitely coming up for you guys so they're telling their friends and families that you've learned or they have learned from your past mistakes and they're ready now to do things the right way Okay, they're ready to do things that they love. They're ready to stop self-harming and substance abuse. They're ready to make a change. Okay, they're ready to stop being unfaithful and deceptive in some sort of way. But they know that you guys are connected. Look at that. They're telling their friends and families, you guys are connected. And I told you guys from the beginning that this definitely feels like you know this person or a soulmate connection. You guys are connected in some sort of way. So they feel you strongly and they're really, really inspired by you. And they feel your heart is definitely a warm heart. You're very passionate and loving and caring. And this person, I feel like you're, they're finding a, new, a creative outlet. You or your person is finding a creative outlet where you're passionate about. You know that you can achieve your goals with this. You can create stability, a, a stable foundation, something that you feel secure about, happy about. I feel like you guys, you or your person is telling your friends and families that you have a creative outlet. Maybe you like music, art, you know, drawing, fashion, and dancing things like that maybe you guys are moving away from things that wasn't for you all right and you believe that you can go after anything i see this person dancing so maybe you guys are really passionate about being more creative and you know moving away from things stepping out your comfort zone and this person is truly getting inspired by that and they want to create a home life with you they want to create everything with you you know you and your person and I feel like both of you are definitely feeling this. You believe in the impossible. You believe in, in achieving your goals. You believe that anything can be can happen. And you believe that it's going to happen very soon. So I feel like you guys definitely are very passionate. You, this is definitely worth waiting for. If you're waiting for this type of love, it is definitely worth waiting for. Okay, guys? But keep doing what you're doing. You know, keep following your heart, learning from your mistakes and healing. But keep having this passion and this confidence it is shining through so much and everybody can see your light shining everyone's feeling your beautiful energy all right as i said you guys have somebody here that's speaking very highly of you to their friends and family and they're loving your confidence they're loving your glow up and they're loving your shine and they just want to see you continue doing these things within yourself and you know just expressing yourself the way that you always wanted to so let's jump, jump into your initials. Oh, one fell to the ground. Actually, not didn't fell to the ground. So powerful. First off, I see you for you guys. <laughs> we have you. We have an A. A C A R. Oh, we have a car. Oh, maybe somebody wants to drive a car towards you. Maybe somebody will buy your car. Maybe you feel like buying a car. Maybe you're talking about it. Oh my gosh, there's so many different things I'm getting with a car. Maybe someone's feeling like they need to move forward towards you now. They can take the leap of faith. We have two, maybe two weeks, two days, two months. And Q. So two could mean something to you guys. Could be a favorite number or just a number that 
you know very significant to you so that could mean something maybe not to everybody but it could also mean two days two weeks two months you're going to hear from this person get some contact from them in some sort of way but you know it's worth waiting for and you know that's coming very soon so yeah that's what i'm getting for you guys pal for it and i hope that you guys continue to be passionate confident you know kind of find that creative outlet that makes you feel happy again and you know find yourself in any way that you feel like you need to right now and just know that you know good things are coming for you surround yourself with love and believe in the impossible because everything is possible everything is possible okay thank you so much for watching and if you did like this reading don't forget to like comment share and subscribe my loves and i'd love to see you guys here again bye guys take care <laughs>